Hello and welcome. Today we are going to make a low poly neon sign for our city environment. This is very important to know. Um, this is an also a very important tutorial if you're planning on doing a regular city environment and even more important if you're planning on doing a sci-fi or cyberpunk city environment because um, those environments need neon signs and stuff like that so um now lean back and listen to me let's start at first let's delete our default cube and the light let's make a new collection click on the collection nice wait i activate so now shift a and text now we got here a text click here on the set okay nice now we got this default text and here on object data properties we can click in to the details of our text first of all let's change here from horizontal left to center so we have it on this centered point and i think the second thing is already uh, changing the text per se let's hit tab or change into the edit mode and just backspace delete this text and write something like uh, psx why not go back into the object mode and this looks kind of boring to be honest let's change the font let's go here to font regular open the folder and now i'm here in the windows fonts folder now let's change it to something more interesting hmm Maybe this here. Awesome. Um, yeah, the the space between the letters is, is a bit too too wide. Let's change that. We have here spacing, character spacing, and let's bring them closer together. Ah, oh, like this, like this nice now uh, let's duplicate this layer and bring it a bit up on the set axis because we will use this here as a backdrop for the neon sign and this here we will turn the front layer into the tube of the neon sign let's do that here on the object settings um, fill mode to none and now geometry and bevel depth to one i think one is already very to be maybe this can work too don't know No, let's go let's go with the one um okay so now we got the tubes and the backdrop and i mean you can also play around with the backdrop a bit maybe um offset overfill it or something like this yeah but i think that's that's a pers personal preference so um yeah okay good so we are now going to 
make our tubes actually colored so we can um, give them give them a mission afterwards currently this the tubes and the backdrop are with um, statistics we are here on 16,000 triangles 8,000 faces that's not low poly <laughs> that's already uh, could be already a whole low poly city or something um, so we need to change that we are actually going to change this 16,000 into only two planes so four triangles two faces that's very low poly so let's do that um, let's click the tube and give it an actual actually an material and let's change the principle bsdf to an emission emission and give it a color let's i go with uh, red and emission has on one the emission has one big reason and that's in the rendering it's unlit so we don't have any shadows or something and for now we don't need it to we actually don't need a shine a bloom around the sign uh, because we are re-rendering it into a low poly version so now um the backdrop uh i think maybe let's give it a black dark gray or something like this yeah why not so okay now got here the neon tube neon back okay so i think no 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 let's let's continue let's continue um let's hide the the tube for now and for sure i named it wrong let's hide the tube and hmm this is a sign makes not very sense so let's make a plane okay let's give it the same material let's scale it down maybe like this and yeah nice and tab right click subdivide subdivide i think that's enough object mode modifier properties wireframe and maybe a bit thicker like this Yeah, this makes sense. Now let's give it a look with the tube. Yeah, totally. Um, hide the tube. And 
Hmm. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I mean, technically, you could uh, leave it like that, but I think it will look a bit more interesting if we um, give it maybe some cables or something. So, Shift A, Curve and Beezer, Beezer, the Beezer curve, <laughs> I don't know, um, select it, tap edit mode and let's grab it, rotate, grab it, R to rotate something like this Nice. So, but for a cable, it's maybe a bit too thin. Let's give it some thickness. Let's go here, uh, object data properties and depth by one. Also give it this material. Why not? something like this um, nice nice okay good I think this looks like a very interesting neon sign Let's hide the tube for now, maybe um, just for the backdrop, object mode, hit A, light, point light, so just it get Yeah, why not? Why not? Um, okay, now let's give it a look. Makes sense. So now we need to set up the camera for rendering the whole thing. For that, um, let's go to Render Properties, Film, Transparent. Filter size zero, output properties, post processing, dithering zero. Nice. 
now let's uh, no at first let's set up the resolution I will go with 256 times 256 and now let's go to the camera click here the camera set everything to zero rotation location and so on drag it a bit above the whole thing and now if you hit the numpad zero you see we need to adjust it a bit first of all perspective to autographic and scale so it just fits right into the whole thing on the y-axis let's center it maybe like that nice okay nice okay um, and now maybe we could also make a quick stand for the whole thing Let's go to the front to hide the camera for now and let's make a quick stand hit A hmm let's just make a plane so it's roughly the size of the whole thing triangulate edit mode right click subdivide wireframe I don't know, it looks a bit weird. Let's go back. Let's delete some of those faces. like this and give it the material and now the wireframe tap object mode let's make it very thick something like this zero okay why not so let's go here to filter disable render and we are rendering the tube separately maybe let's make this a bit bigger yeah something like this give it a test render 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 image let's give it a look looks quite nice image save as neon 
Back. Safe. And now let's hide everything. Disable it in the render port. And now let's only make this visible. Render image. Nice image, save as. And it's very important that you have NP and G and it's the color is on RGBA. So we got that nice transparency. Let's go, let's delete that back. Call it neon tube. Save, perfect. Okay, now we got our two textures. And um, before we set everything up, we should make a new collection and make an motive, not a text neon sign, but a motive. So for that, um, let's hit A, empty image and open image. I'm using here my, my logo, maybe scale it a bit up. So it fits inside. Nice. And now let's just zoom in and hit A, curve, Beezer, Bezer, I have no fucking clue. S to scale down and now tap into edit of edit mode yeah so and if we now clicking here wait where is it i think we can already make it into a tube for that death to one maybe a bit thicker like this like two or three i think three is a nice size and now it's very easy you're selecting a vertice, hitting G to drag it to the right point. Select the other one, R to rotate. And now we are trying to, and if we don't want that massive curvature, just hit S to scale it down and it will tighten up between both points. Then we can hit E to extrude like this, E to extrude. Like this. So, and to get an actual interesting uh, neon sign that also looks like a neon sign at the end, uh, just start with the outline, try to make outline of your motif and then make a second tube for um, a second tube or an individual tube for all the details inside the outlines. But I will demonstrate that on my logo. So hit to the cheekbone, scale it down. And maybe that needs also to be scaled down. Zoom in a bit. It's a bit more, um, it's more work, but it will totally pay off. You will see that in a second. E to extrude. and E to extrude. Uh, 
I don't like these crunchy areas here. So rotate it so it's it's more fitting and these uh, areas don't crunch up. So and now the thing is, I think let's hide the, the reference. I think it looks more interesting, like with real neon signs, if we have separate parts. So like difficult angles like this would on a real neon sign would be a separate tube. So for that, let's just take here this one, hit Shift D, duplicate with a bit offset. And now we get just the vertices and hit E to extrude. Maybe rotate it. And let's just continue tracing the outline. Awesome, awesome. Um, let's give it a material. Let's just take this material and hit new to duplicate it. And I want my signature, my blue, my blue. Where's my blue? I think this bl this brighter blue is more my thing. Looks pretty awesome. And hmm, now we can make it thicker, for example. We can use offset, we can extrude, but that will bring it up. So I think uh, I would like to make a little experiment. I'm duplicating it and I will No, that looks that looks dumb. Um at E Maybe I'm selecting here the the inner points. Control left click all of them. Delete, nice. And now offset. Inner lines or outer lines? I think the outer lines make a bit more sense. Go to object mode. Makes sense. But we can maybe give this one a different color to make it a bit more interesting. So new material and let's change it maybe purple more a pink red no 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 the purple why not yeah nice so let's also make a backdrop 
this let's make the backdrop first this one render render image oh wait um we're going to use the the light again i think it makes a very interesting look. So save in image, save as, check PNG, color, RGB, A, neon, back, neon back two, save and now let's hide those. Let's make this outer line. Image. Oh, um, render as image. Save as new tube. Oh, oh, two. Part one. Save. Hide this, bring this in, render image, image, save as neon part two, part two, save as. So, I think we have everything we need for that. Um, let's hide our collection make a new one I call it final let's make a plane rotate it on the x axis 90 degrees and let's give it a material and let's call it neon one and a second one neon back one and let's go to base color image texture closest open also let's change into with tap into edit mode face selection select the face duplicate and bring it a bit back select it and click here on neon back one assign and also click on image texture closest open and let's select this one let's select the front one again and change into shading so now we want to get that transparency and everything let's plug the alpha channel into the alpha Material, scroll down here, settings, alpha clip, shadow, none. Okay. Oh, um, yeah, maybe this will sound a bit weird, 
but um, just follow along. Shift A, input mix shader, shift emission, plug it in and plug that into color. Let's change this here to um, 50. And here on render properties, hit bloom. Nice. Already looks very interesting. Let's take this backdrop here. And here we just have to plug in the alpha into the alpha material settings uh, alpha clip and shadow alpha clip layout oh also we can um, deactivate the transparency again and i think this part here we don't need that part here Yeah, let's delete this and take the knife. Enter and move tool, select this one. faces nice so we got rid of that uh, but we need that thing later anyway hit a inside a plane up right let's make one here let's line it up a bit assign Let's do that weird cut again. But this time we are keeping the the side down. Faces nice. Just like this. I mean, this is just the extra step. You don't have to actually do that. But I want to do that. Like this here, for example, it's not necessary, not at all. So, awesome, let's call this neon one and if we turn on the uh, wireframe you see it's only five faces 10 triangles and before that we had around 17,000 triangles and for that i think it's it looks very good pretty awesome let's hide this Let's make our second uh, motif version. Let's make a plane. Turn it on the x axis, 90 degrees. Perfect. New neon uh, two one and 
plus neon two two and plus neon neon back two let's start with the backdrop now we have just to repeat the whole thing like we did before base color image texture closest open image this one oh uh, at first we have to assign it like this nice shading alpha shadow alpha clip blend mode alpha clip maybe also the specular and the roughness increase i think i didn't do that on the first one but it doesn't matter um, duplicate the layer and assign it for neon 22 so select the front one click neon 22 assign now base color image texture open let's def select the first outline thing shading alpha add mix shader emission plug in the color and also alpha clip and shadow mode none change this to 50 to give it this nice glow and also we have to do that on the, the second neon one so let's select both copy let's go in here paste already drag it in now we just need yellow dot image texture open and closest duplicate and neon one assign Oh, um, color, color and alpha, alpha, blend mode, alpha clip, shadow, none. Okay, nice. So now we got our low poly PS1 style neon signs. And um, currently we are on 16 triangles. So we are very close to a simple cube. So you see here, it's a very basic setup. I mean, we, we also made those back things here. And yeah, now you can throw them onto a building or something and um and i mean you can come up with very nice and interesting uh, motifs for for your knee and sign or you can uh, maybe install a new font um maybe something more cyberpunky 
or also you can use uh, Japanese or Korean signs. I think they will look also very aesthetic, but it depends on your on your fonts uh, or your project, for example. So yeah, that's basically how you make uh, low poly neon signs. I hope low poly PS1 style neon signs. I hope you got something out of this tutorial and please, please maybe consider subscribing and also recently I re very liked your engagement in my uh, community posts. Um, I re really like to get feedback on stuff. Also, I would appreciate your feedback on this video if you made it that far. Um, yeah, so far so good. Love you guys and make some awesome environments with neon signs and shit like that. See you in the next one. Bye.